What's up guys, Learning with Rich here. In this video, we are going to add lighting fixtures using schedules and color fills. Alright, so in this exercise, we're going to place lighting fixtures in our drawing and we're going to use the color fill plan and the space analysis schedule as an aid in lighting placement to satisfy the, the required life, uh, lighting levels. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to modify the color plan to illustrate the space by the average estimated illumination values. So these values are based on internal lighting level calculations, which use the space color and wall reflectance values and work plane height to automatically calculate average illuminance or lighting levels. Okay, and then later on, as we place the lighting fixtures, we're going to verify the illuminance values to indicate when the lighting level requirements have been satisfied. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to modify the color fill. Okay, this is our color fill. So I'm going to change my color fill here. So to do that, because right now it's required lighting level, so that is the color fill a legend that's showing. So I'm going to modify this by selecting the color fill legend and then edit skim. So let's click that one. And then after that, here on our edit color scheme dialog box, so the category or the scheme that I'll be selecting for my spaces is average estimated illumination. Okay. And then after that, I'm going to select uh, less than 20 foot candle row. Okay, and then I'm going to change the color. So instead of greenish, so I'm going to select that and I'm going to select orange. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to select here. Okay, and it's orange now. So I'm going to select here. Okay, so as you can see here, the library has an average estimated illumination less than uh, 20 foot candles. So basically, by using the orange as the color for, for this range, we can quickly identify those areas of the building that do not meet the specified lighting requirements. Okay, so the next thing that I'm going to do is here from my project browser, I'm going to open our schedule. So the schedule that I'm going to opening is uh, Space Lighting Analysis. Let's double click that. And then we are concerned about this delta. So we are going to modify the delta first, the lighting uh, delta column. So I'm going to select properties. I want to change the format of that. And then I'll select here lighting delta. I select that and then I'll select here conditional format for my lighting delta that is not between minus 5 foot candle and 5 foot candle. Okay, so I want any value that is not between minus 5 and positive 5 to be colored red. Okay, so that's my concern. I do not want to have a colored red uh, lighting delta. So that's why I want that to be highlighted here on my space lighting analysis. So I'm going to select here OK and then I'll select here OK. And then as you can see, I have several red colors here. Okay, I'm not going to solve all of this for this design. So I'm just going to solve my, for example, my library. My library is space 219 so currently the value here is minus 50 foot candles so I don't want that high so I want that to be colored white like this like normal within the value so I'm going to open up the project browser again and then let me open the ceiling plan level 2 okay and this is where I'm going to place my lighting fixture here on my library 219. So I'm going to select tile views here for me to be able to see the, the other views here. Okay. Right. Okay. So let me just activate this window and then I'm going to select tile again. So let me click this and then I'll select tile again. 
Let me try activating my schedule and then tile again. Click again, this one, and then tile again. So this is what I want. <laughs> I want my lighting ceiling plan to be here on the right side. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in this one. So that's the library 219, library 219. And then where's our library 219? This one here, okay? Right, so as you can see, if I select uh, library 219 here on my schedule, it actually highlights it on my floor plan, okay? So that's how useful our schedule. So it's connected to the floor plans that we have here. All right, so let's modify the value, okay? So here on my ceiling plan, so let's add lighting fixtures here. So let's go to the systems. And then after that, so let's select lighting fixture. So let's go to the properties. And then let's change this one. So for this, I'm just going to select 2x2, two, two, 2 lamp, 277 volts. So let's click that one. Okay, and then notice that after I place this one here on my ceiling plan, my value here for my delta will update. And then this column will update as, as well. So that column is our average estimated illumination. So it will be updated. Okay, so where is that? So that's my 219. So currently it's zero and then it says minus 50. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my lighting fixture somewhere here and then look what will happen on my schedule here. Okay, so let me place it here. Click. There you go. So it updates. So it becomes minus 49 now and then it becomes one foot candle. Later on, you will also notice my uh, field plan here. It will update as well. This one, my library 219 as I place lighting fixtures for my design. So I'm going to copy this. By the way, so I'm going to select modify. I'm going to select this lighting fixture and then here from the instance properties, you can see that there is this uh, parameter that is called calculate coefficient of utilization. Okay, so this option must be selected in order for lighting information to be updated in the color field plan and schedule. Okay, so don't re uh, don't forget that one. Okay, so just make sure it's selected. So I'm going to select this and then I'm going to copy that. So copy multiple options. So constrain it, and then I'm going to copy it like uh, two more copy. So I'm going to pick this as my base point, and then I'm going to copy it uh, here again. Notice my uh, schedule here. So I'm going to place another one here. Okay, so now it becomes four foot candle. So that's the average estimated illumination for this space. And now it becomes minus 46 foot candles for my lighting delta. So I'm going to select here modify. Okay, so next I'm still going to copy that one. Okay, so I'm going to select that and then hold control to select the other lighting fixtures. And then I'm going to copy that again. So copy. So I'm going to use this as my base point. Okay, and then I'm going to copy more. So I'll, I'll copy one here. And then notice my schedule here. Okay, so I'm going to copy here. Then I want to place it. Here again, here. All right, this one, this one, and this one here. There you go. And then you notice my library space here. It changes to this range here. So I'm going to select modify. So this color, the range is 30 to 35. So as you can see, the range, uh, the value now here is 31 foot candle. So that's why it goes to this color here. So because that's the range, 30 to 35, and then the value here is 31. So that's the color. And then my lighting delta now updates to minus 19 foot candle. Okay. So now let's uh, select lighting fixtures. So to further modify my space lighting analysis here, 
So I'm going to select these lighting fixtures, that one. I only want to select the lighting fixtures. I do not want to select that tag. So I'm going to filter that. And then let's uncheck the tags. I only want the lighting fixtures, seven lighting fixtures. So let's select here, OK. All right, and then let's change this one. So instead of 2 by 2 I'm going to change that to 2 by 4 two lamps. So let's see what will happen if we change that. There you go. So now it goes to this color. So 35 FC, 250 FC range. So that's why it becomes this color. So the value now here is 44. And then it's still colored red. So but now the the value is now much higher. So it becomes uh, minus 6 foot candles. So I'm going to select here modify. Okay. So let us further modify this. So let's select the lighting fixture. Okay, of course, another way to select only the lighting fixtures. So you can hold shift and then select the element that you do not want to be included to the selection. Like that. So I only want the lighting fixtures. Let's change this one. So let's say I want 2 by 4 uh, 3 lamps. 277 volts. So let's select this one. There you go. So now it's here on this range. So 50 foot candles to 75 foot candles. So that's now the color of our library 219, which is the ideal one because this now becomes 3 foot candles, our, our lighting delta. So this is now my design for this. So this is the ideal design. So it's not colored red. Okay, so I want that to be three foot candles. Okay, so now for the last part of the exercise, I'm now going to just use the move command while the lighting fixtures are still selected. So I'm going to use the move command and then I'll click the corner here as my base point and then I'm going to pick this intersection. There you go. It's now tidy up, so I'm going to select Modify. All right. So that's how we use, or that's how we place our lighting fixtures using our uh, schedule, our space lighting analysis, and then the uh, color field plan. Okay, so hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.